Now I love dumb movies. Um, excuse me, what the actual fuck are you doing with my hat? I really love dumb movies. Drink. Well, drink! Hey, what are you- I gotta die here with you and sober! movies that actually have something to say are my preference, a dumb movie can be just as, if not more, enjoyable. With that in mind, you would think Fast and Furious would be the perfect franchise for someone like me. These films specialize in plain stupidity, but I've never been a fan. I think 8 and the spin-off are hilarious, but the others? I don't care at all. Fast X is the newest of these installments, and besides the two I did like, it's by far the most enjoyable. Getting into spoilers for the three diehard Fast fans out there, the movie is about Jason Momoa trying to kill Dominic Toretto and his whole family because they killed one of his family members in a previous movie. And yeah, that's it. If you watched Seven, you have watched this movie. Its plot is completely recycled, and that may be the funniest part about it. Now, this one is a lot more absurd than Seven. It's like the director watched a Michael Bay film and liked the constant explosions, because every single set piece in this film involved some sort of bomb. Momoa's character pretty much steals all the gadgets the villain of the previous film had, and he just goes crazy with it. But the honest fact is, I can't make the plot sound any more interesting because that's as deep as it goes. Getting into characters, if you want to call them that, Dom is ass as usual, Vin Diesel is honest to god one of the worst actors working today. He has the exact same expression and tone of voice no matter what happens. There are no clear differences between happy, angry, and sad Dom. Like three characters apparently die at the end, they don't, it's just a BS cliffhanger. But Dom has the exact same face as when he was talking about his car with Han earlier. He loses his brother and son in the exact same scene and just looks mildly annoyed. There are multiple characters in this series that fit this stereotype Dom is in, but at least people like The Rock have more than one facial expression and can be slightly enjoyable to watch. Yeah, The Rock is the same in every movie, but he could somewhat articulate his voice. Vin is garbage. The usual supporting cast is fine, I guess. These two are really annoying, and have always been that. I don't know their names, and I don't care to check either. All the characters fit into action film stereotypes, but these two in particular are always annoying. They work as comic relief, but are almost never funny. They pretty much have the exact same dynamic as Hobbs and Shaw, but much, much worse. Han is fine, he doesn't really do shit, but he's fine, I guess. And I forgot her name, she's fine too. Everyone else in this film is a glorified cameo. Jason Statham, who is the only reason I saw this movie, has one action scene, and then his storyline is saved for part two. John Cena realized what franchise he signed onto in the last movie and just fucking dies abruptly. I'm guessing that Peacemaker paycheck is significantly better than this. Brie Larson's character is a fun addition to two ministries on screen, and this further proves she just had a dog shit director in Captain Marvel. Because if the mind behind Fast and Furious of all people knows how to direct her, then I don't know what else to tell you. And of course, I saved the best for last. Jason Momoa carries this movie so fucking hard. My biggest issue with Seven is how little focus Statham's character was given, even though he was the main antagonist and easily the best part of the movie. Fast X fixes all those rehashed problems. Momoa is given plenty of screen time and absolutely steals the show when he's on screen. He is so incredibly over the top and it's hilarious. Momoa just seems to be having a blast with this role. I probably would have found this movie just as bad as Fast 9 if it weren't for him, and he makes me mildly excited for the next one. But yeah, this is not a good movie. It's better than the garbage that was the ninth one, but it's not good at all. Now if you don't mind, I need to go watch a good dumb movie, like Cocaine Bear. If you want to hear my thoughts on that film, my review is popping up in the card right now. I'll see you there.